Hello, my name is Mark Middleton, and I'm a hardware engineer within the I.MX Applications Processor Division at Freescale Semiconductor. Today I'm going to guide you through the steps to get your I.MX 53 Quick Start Board up and running quickly with the Ubuntu Operating System. This low-cost board is designed as an entry-level platform, which allows a user to begin writing code and experimenting before committing to higher-cost platforms in the same family of hardware boards. To get started, open the box of the Quick Start Board Kit and inspect the items to ensure everything you need is present. The 5-volt power supply, the USB cable, the micro SD card. The SD card comes preloaded with a Ubuntu BSP image. The i.MX53 Quick Start DVD, the Quick Start Guide, and the i.MX53 Quick Start Board. There is also an optional HDMI board which can be ordered separately. This board will allow the user to output HDMI video in place of VGA video output native to the i.MX53 applications processor. If you have the optional HDMI daughter card, connect it to the expansion port connector J13. The Quick Start board software comes pre-configured for the VGA video. So if you do add the HDMI card, you will need to make a one-time software line change during the U-Boot process. This is explained in detail in the Quick Start Guide. Now, let's get the system up and running with Ubuntu. First, insert the SD card labeled Ubuntu into card socket 1. Next, optionally connect an RS-232 cable from the PC to the debug UART port on the Quick Start board. This will allow you to see operating system status information by running a terminal program. Connect a VGA cable from the VGA port to a computer monitor. Please note that if you're using the optional HDMI card, you would substitute an HDMI cable for the VGA cable. Make sure the other end is connected to the monitor. Connect a USB keyboard to the upper USB host connector. Connect a USB mouse to a keyboard USB port if available. Otherwise, connect the mouse to the lower USB port. Connect the Ethernet cable from an available network connection to the Ethernet port on the Quick Start board. And finally, connect the 5 volt power supply to the Quick Start board. With the cables properly connected, you are now ready to power up the board. Press the power button. U-Boot will begin booting off the micro SD card and setting environmental variables. If you have a terminal window open on your PC, you will see scrolling operation system status information. If you need to make a change to the initial boot environmental variables, such as for HDMI, you will have three seconds to press a key on the PC to halt the boot process, and then you can make your changes. Otherwise, the Ubuntu kernel will begin to boot automatically. During the boot sequence, you will see the familiar Linux Penguin display in the upper left-hand corner. As the boot operation nears completion, a logon window will open. The boot sequence will automatically log you on and display the Ubuntu desktop. If you have an internet connection available, click on the Firefox icon on the menu bar in the upper left corner of the desktop. The browser will launch and load the default home page, and you will be able to begin surfing. Congratulations! You now have Ubuntu up and running on your Quick Start board. If you wish to join the i.MX family of developers and share user experiences, ask questions from the experts, or get ideas from where to go next, you can find it all at the imxcommunity.org. This completes the i.MX53 Quick Start Board video tutorial for Ubuntu. Quick Start Board is supported by a complete ecosystem of low-cost IDE debug tools 
and application GUI development tools to enable you to build exciting products based on our i.mx53 platform. Coupled with our online support and free reference materials including schematics, layout files, manuals, and BSP documentation, you have everything you need to develop your designs quickly and effectively. Thank you.